So now what we can do is we can learn a little bit on how we can direct all of this equipment by viewing the machines, the machine information, or maybe if we have Seedstar Mobile or Harvest Mobile, there's different things we can see by utilizing those tools. So first thing I'm going to show you is all of your equipment. You'll notice here on the map, you'll see a tractor. And that's what all of your JD Link capable machines are going to look like. They're going to show up on the map and by clicking on them, it's going to give us a very brief overview of this equipment. It's going to give us speed, fuel level, and heading. Now keep in mind, this information is just a snapshot of when that machine called in on JD Link. There's many different levels we can set up for how often it calls in. You'll notice when I clicked on that tractor, this squiggly blue line showed up before it was pink. What that is, is that is a 24 hour location history line that shows where that tractor has traveled in the past 24 hours. Now keep in mind that's a rolling 24 hours that will always renew as that machine is moving. Going back into the machine information, a couple things we can do here. One of them is we can access remote display access or we can send files. So if you know exactly what tractor you want to send that file to, we can click there and it'll bring us to the send file page. Another thing we can do is we can get turn by turn directions directly to that machine from where we're at. Another thing is the jobs in your My Jobs feature. You can look and see all of the jobs that you have lined up for that particular machine. Another thing we can do in the jobs tab over on the side, if we select it, you'll notice some of these have a notebook next to them, some of them have a line, and this one here has what I would refer to as a play button or, or a triangle in a circle. If we have equipment capable of utilizing Seedstar Mobile or Harvest Mobile in our combines, what we can do is we can access that data live as that tractor or combine is going up and down the field. What we would do is we would have the ability to click on this and there again this is a demo site so I don't have this functionality but we would be able to click on this and it would bring us directly to that tractor in the field and we could see the agronomic data as they are working that operation in that field. If you have more questions on Seedstar Mobile or Harvest Mobile Stop into your local RDO equipment or your local John Deere dealership and they should be able to answer more questions on that. So what we can do now is we can click here to learn how to edit or clean up any of our documentation data that we've collected over this season. Or we can click here and that'll take you to a brief overview of everything that we covered in the John Deere Operations Center. Now we're going to learn how to edit our data that we've collected over the season. So what we'll do is we'll select the field that we want to go into. From there, we're going to select the field analyzer or the little button here that looks like a field. So that's going to bring us back into the field analyzer tool that we were talking about before. What we'll do there is we'll then select this pencil on the left hand side and that's going to bring us into our edit capabilities for this field. Now you'll notice we cannot change our task of harvest and we cannot change what field this is. Things we can change are crop season or we can select the if we goofed up on what crop we were harvesting. Another thing we can do similar to what we had in Apex is we can post calibrate if we feel we did not calibrate our combine properly. Or maybe we did not utilize variety locator or maybe we goofed up inputting our varieties, we can select the correct variety that we need for this crop. Another thing we can do in editing, if we pull up a seeding map, so now we're in 2015 soybeans seeding, we can do very much the same thing by selecting that pencil 
and maybe we get done with the field and we noticed we didn't select the correct variety, we can go back in on the John Deere Operation Center and we can edit that data or edit that variety to make it show the correct variety. Now you'll notice there's only two varieties showing up in this page. That's more than likely because we only have two varieties in our product list. So after that's all done, we can click Save and that's going to edit our data and have the correct clean data that we want. So now that we've learned how to edit that data, we have two options. We can either click here to go to direct or view and see what we can all do with those machines and that equipment. And we can talk a little bit about Seedstar Mobile and Harvest Mobile. Or you can click here and that's going to take you to a, a brief wrap up on everything we've covered in all of our videos on the John Deere Operation Center. I'm waiting on you. So over the past few videos, we've learned a lot about the John Deere Operations Center. We've covered how to create an account, how to add partners and staff members with your organization. We've learned everything with your agronomic data, how to create prescriptions using that prescription creator powered by Agrian. We've also learned how to, how to send files, receive files, as well as edit that data that comes in. So really what John Deere has done with the John Deere Operation Center is it's given us the ability to see, direct, and collaborate. So we're able to see all of our information, all of our data and agronomic information. We're able to direct our machines, our people, and everything on the farm and operation. And we're able to collaborate with any type of third-party partner by adding them to our partnership in, in our organization. So I hope you learned quite a bit on this video. Uh, if, you, if you really like what you saw here, we also have a podcast. It is the RDO Equipment Agriculture Technology Podcast. What you can do is you can download and subscribe to our podcast channel by using any type of podcast platform, whether it be Apple or SoundCloud or any of those types. So what you can do is you can search John Deere or RDO Equipment Company or Agriculture Technology and it should show up. Click subscribe and you can listen to all the latest information on technology with John Deere and RDO Equipment. So now if you really liked this video, you can click here and start from the beginning on how to create an account. Or you can click right here and you can sub subscribe to our channel and watch for more videos to come out in the future.